Hello, I'm Dr. Pani Madhuri. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine as well as obstetrics and gynecology at Matrutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Hydrosalpins, as I said, is a chronic inflammatory condition of the tubes, which is commonly caused by organisms like chlamydial organisms or probably tubercular infections, because of which there is a damage and there is an exudation of the fluid into the cavity of the lumen of the tube and hence there is a distension of the tube. Now since we call it an inflammatory reaction, there are patients who ask, you know, probably can it be cured with medicines? I would say, you know, the chronic inflammatory condition can definitely, if there is an acute infection, it can be definitely treated with antibiotics, a prolonged course of antibiotics. But this is already a chronic condition because of which the tubal damage has happened to this extent. It's an old infection which has caused so much of a damage to this tube. So that is not much of a role of a present course of antibiotics in this condition. And this condition definitely has to be treated in a manner wherein it improves the outcome of the fertility future of the patient. So, in order to improve the fertility in this couple, in this person, we have to disconnect these damaged tubes from the uterus. That is, prevent this toxic fluid coming back into the uterus when actually the implantation is happening. So, the only way of doing it is ligation of the tubes, the proximal end of the tubes and probably creating a fenestration in the distal part so that the fluid release happens into the peritoneal cavity and the distension does not happen because any distended organ is also a cause for pain in the pelvic area. So uh, there are a lot of patients with large hydrosalpinges who are having pain as well. So it releases the pain and at the same time the proximal ligation prevents this fluid coming back into the uterus and hence increases the pregnancy rates. Now this condition is a surgical procedure which has to be done uh, most often through a laparoscopic approach because it's least invasive and it involves giving general anesthesia to the patients and it's a one-step procedure wherein the tubes would be disconnected. Now if there is a unilateral hydrosalpings, that means there is a hydrosalpings only on one tube, you have to treat only the affected tube and if the other tube is looking healthy, you can leave the other tube intact and allow the couple to try naturally for a couple of months for the pregnancy to happen if it's actually happening or not.